Um, 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 um. Ah, there it is. Right. Hello, everybody. I thought I would pop online for a short period of time uh, to do a little live stream there uh, to, to share with some stuff we've had coming. We've had a little uh, delivery coming, which is just here. There's some, some, ugh, there's some, oh, I can't turn it back. Here we go. Yeah, I've had a little delivery coming, so I thought, why not share with you? And I should have adjusted the camera angle and all that stuff before, but I didn't. So I'm doing it now. Um, yes, yeah, so I thought I'd share with you guys some stuff that's come into the shop. Um, and um, yeah, unbox it with you live because I haven't done one of these in a while. And um, I don't really do product unboxings as often. So I want you to do that. Hello, Chris, how are you? Thank you for popping in, really do appreciate it. So box number one, let's see what's in the box. Um, bit of damage there, bit of damage, but we will, we will work through that. Oh. I do apologize if the cutting of the box is a bit loud. Hopefully it won't be too loud. Leanne, how are you? Um, at last, I can watch a live stream. Thank you for popping in, Leanne. I, I do appreciate you um, watching the replays and stuff anyway, but thank you for popping in. Yeah, it's a bit, um, I, can do, I can do the live because um, I've actually got my daughter working um, on the shop floor. So she's covering the shop floor which means I can be back here making a little bit of content for YouTube and such like, oh God, like, I'm gonna have to be careful because there's always like loads of bubble wrap uh, and um, not bubble wrap, but there's loads of like a uh, packing peanuts and things. Is you cold, are you well wrapped up? Well, I'm not cold. I've got my layers on and I'm sporting my new hat this was actually a test hat that Rebecca knitted for me, believe it or not, this is a test hat. She said, this is just a test hat, she said to me. Uh, you can keep it, but it's just a test hat. So she's actually knitting me a hat with some nice wool that we got, um, but she gave me this. And I was like, I have to wear it, it's so comfy and lovely. I'm like, I don't, I don't care if it's a test hat. All right, let's see what we have amongst all the packing peanuts. Okay. Oh, first item first item oh this is a bit more topical we have got a captain marvel diamond select figure i've had this in before um but i thought i'd just grab it because i got it at a really good price um and also the marvels movie is out which is actually getting some good reviews from certain places um it's got a lot of kind of negativity around it um but it might be worth watching anyway but anyway here we go here's um Captain Marvel, that's the first thing I've unboxed. Next item, we have gotten a Kid Flash figure. He's pretty cool. Look at him, he's just doing his thing, running. He's got like the lightning bolts and everything coming off of him. He's a McFarlane gold label figure. Hey there, Secret Carper, thank you for popping in, appreciate it. So that's a cool little figure. These are nice little stock ups for the shop. I can spot something else. What is in here? Oh, now that is pretty cool. Here is a figure uh, from the Spawn series, again from McFarlane. It's a lot of glare, unfortunately, but you're gonna have to just trust me that it is really cool. Spawn, and there's a sin. Nice packaging, a really cool artwork on the back as well. I do like that very much. And I like like the kind of effects they've supplied so you can pose him with, so you can do those kind of like ah, magic effects, which are, which are cool. So that's a nice little figure. Oh, Shizer. I need to stack these a bit better so they don't just fall everywhere. And what else have we got in this bo first box? Oh, another spawn. So that's another one of those. So we'll just put that on top of the other one. And there's one last thing in this first box, which is a giant box, and it is actually quite cool. This is a figure of Shazam. A bit of box damage, unfortunately. You can see it's got a little bit of box damage on the top there. A little bit of box damage. Actually, are we a bit too bright here or not? I don't know. Let me just see if I can... I don't think we are. Let's take the ISO down just a tad. But anyway, there's a bit of box damage you can see at the top there. 
but that is a cool uh, diamond gallery figure of Shazam, like on a diorama, like he's he's um, holding some, like he's doing some lightning, he's got his cape, um, that is actually quite cool, so, um, wow, that spawn figure is super cool, so secret craft, but yes, it is really detailed, really nice, but this, is, I'm, I'm impressed with this as well, this is, I got this, at, I got these at really decent prices, so I can't grumble, so, um, but yeah, I like, I like that. So that's the first box dealt with, which is good. Um, I just need to make sure that these things do not make too much of a mess. Right, box number two. Right, this one seems quite heavy. I don't have as much space as I would like back here to do this. I didn't... I think be... Okay, God. My box cutting skills are, are lacking today, guys. They're lacking, I'll be honest. So we have got another box to open them. Love, I like doing unboxings like this just because it's just a bit of fun, really. Um, let's see what's in the next box, apart from more packing material. Oh, we've got more action figures, believe it or not. Wow. I love action figures, though. Ooh, that is really cool. Now, this is part of um, McFarlane's Page Puncher series of figures. They're really cool because they come with a comic. So this comes with an, a Flash comic. And this is this figure is called Heat Wave. And he's pretty cool looking. You can see he's got like a, a gun on his arm type thing. Like a some kind of a heat, I'm guessing some kind of a heat ray gun. And then the character itself is actually really nice. Hi, Kathy. How are you? Thanks for popping in. So you can see you get like the figure and you get the comic, which is nice. And along the same line, oh, now this is awesome. That Aquaman is awesome. Look at him. Again, comes with an Aquaman comic. He's got his trident there. He's a cool version of Aquaman. I really do like it. And again, comes with an Aquaman comic to get you going as well. So these page punches are really good. Um, items in the shop and they're, they're, because they look good the figures themselves are very detailed and the fact that they come with a nice little comic display stand and card always adds value I think so that's a nice little figure there oh and we have got another one which is similar but not the same Ocean Master Ocean Master well, he's quite cool looking I wish I could do something about this glare, but I just don't know what that could be. It's probably my lighting. I need to fix that. Uh, but yeah, that is really cool. You can see again, he's got, oh, he's got so much going on. His cape, his alternate hands. He's got a trident as well, and it's got like seaweed on it and stuff. So that's pretty cool. And we move on to some more stuff. Um, the detail on the figures are so good. I know Secret Cup, I've got to say, you know what? Value for money wise, I don't think you can beat McFarlane. Um, the, the, the prices are, for what you get are so, so good. Um, I mean, they're just, they're just really decent. Um, the Atom now, Page Puncher Atom. Again, really nice figure. And again, complete with a Flash comic. Um, so you can, it tells you what the comic is on the back. So you can see the comic cover and you can see like a shot of the character so that's a nice one as well this box is going on and we're going to make a slight switch now we've also got something this is these are really nice um these are star wars visions figures now um i'm going to probably unbox these and display these out of the box because they're done by bandai ban presto and they you just don't get a very good in my opinion, you just don't get a very good kind of feel for, for how nice these figures are. So Star Wars Visions, I believe, is some kind of an animation spin-off set within the Star Wars world, but is not linked to the movie storyline. Um, so there's the twins, there's Kare, and in here should also be like the other one, but I don't know what the other one's name is, and I don't know where it is, but so far we've just got her. So she's really cool, it's a nice anime style. Um, but obviously has a has her lightsaber as well. Just a cool looking figure. And I think Star Wars fans and anime fans um, will probably like that. Um, it's one of those things. Resella Georgie, thanks for popping in. Appreciate you popping in. Um, 
what is this? You, the stream's current bitrate is lower than the recommended bitrate. We recommend you use this. Ah, screw you, I'll stream at what bitrate I, I deem uh, appropriate. You can't tell me what bitrate to stream at. Freaking machines. Um, but yeah, that's, that's quite cool anyway, I think. Oh, Risa LaGeorge says, I love Star Wars Visions, Ardman Studios did an episode. Oh, I did not know that. I did not know that. I'm, I'm, it, I'm very, I'm not that aware of what these are about, but I'm kind of keen to look at what these look like out of the box. Like I said, I'll probably display these somewhere in the shop out of the box because it makes a, a difference. There is another one in here somewhere, I think, but I don't know where. We've also got a Wakanda Forever Funko Pop. I tend not to buy Funko Pops because unless they're super cheap, like dirt cheap, um, I will only buy them if they're dirt cheap because in the shop I tend to knock them out for like a fiver each. Um, if it's like a more rarer one, I'll ask more for it, but I only tend to buy these when they're very, very cheap. Um, uh, so obviously I'll look this up. It probably isn't worth much. Um, let me just have a quick um, look up of it as we are live. So what is this uh, Funko Pop? Um, come on, Funko Pop, was it? 1173 Funko Shuri. Okay, so we'll see what comes up. I'm guessing it's not going to be worth much at all. You've got people asking 15, some people asking a fiver plus shipping. So yeah, that's like a fiver, tenner. I'm going to be just pricing it out of fiver. There's plenty, believe it or not, there's actually a lot of profit in there for me, even out of fiver. I got this very, very cheap. So I'm pleased with that. Um, what else have we got in here? Yeah, I don't, I tend not to buy Funko Pops though, but you know, that's just my kind of, you know, my thing. I, I, like, as in, I'm not a huge, huge fan of, of the old Funko Pops. What else have we got? Oh, keeping within the anime theme. Oh, these are nice. Seven Deadly Sins Melodious. Look at that. That is so cool. So if you're into anime and if you're into Seven Deadly Sins, that is a really nice action figure to have. Just look at it. It's so cool. Look at him. He's like, oh, this is much better for the glare. I can, didn't realise I can focus that close. But there we go. Look at the detail on them. That is awesome. So that's a nice addition to the shop. And then, have I got another one? Oh, that's another one of the same. So that can go there. And then we have gotten... Ooh, now that is friggin' awesome. So another one, Seven Deadly Sins Melodious. But look at that accessory, look at that dog. Like, I've got no idea about um, the Seven Deadly Sins anime, but that, just as, a, just as a toy fan, as a fan of action figures, just that figure is amazingly detailed. It looks, it just pops. And then the accessory, like that crazy looking dog thing, that is fantastic. So nice um, addition to our anime range. Um, anime is, is just more, getting more and more popular all the time. Um, another one of those awesome figures. Hi Lag, how are you? Another one, again, just take a look. Just so, so good, so good. Really liking it. I love digging through these boxes though because they fill them all with packing peanuts and things and then it's like finding treasure. It's like, oh, what's underneath here? All fans of Stranger Things will like this. That's quite cute. It's a little Robin Funko Pop keychain. How cool is that? So this is her, like is, you know, the hunter. So that's quite cool. Um, Funko Pop keychains I like because they're keychains. So, you know, keychains are always a good thing. But um, if, in case I didn't say hi to Lag, hi. Do you ever get anything you don't really want to sell and keep yourself, our secret copper? Um, I tr I'm trying my best not to just hoard stuff. Uh, there are obviously times where it's just hard not to kind of hoard stuff, but I try not to. Like I, tr I try not to. There's there's so much out there um, I, that I, I I'm trying to be very particular about what I want to collect. Um, so I it, it's difficult. It's a challenge. Put it that way. It's a challenge. Ooh, what else have we got in here? Ooh. Another Funko Pop keychain. This is the Spot from Spider-Man. So I would have gotten these like really good prices. So I'm happy with that. Okay. Oh, and I found the other Star Wars um, figure that I was talking about. The Star Wars Vision. Oh, actually I can't get to it yet. So 
I won't try to force it out. What we will do instead is go to something completely different. Um, I have gotten these um, hanging decorations. This is a Harry Potter nine and three quarters platform hanging decoration. Comes in a nice little box. Shall we have a look at it though? Because I bet it is gorgeous. So it comes in like a little polystyrene protector majiggy. Oh, that is, that is nice. Look at that. So this is like a nice resin kind of hanging decoration. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. That is a gorgeous hanging decoration. Platform nine and three quarters made out of resin. This merch is very nice. Oh, look at that. If you're a fan of Harry Potter, that is a cool thing to be able to have and hang on display. So really liking that. And I like the fact that the, the packaging is, you know, that there's a nice bit of packaging to it. Um, let's just put this back into its box. Um, Ali Evans, thank you for popping in. Um, and Kath, uh, sorry, and um, Night's Life, Richard. Yes, it is so pretty. Oh, there we go. That is so cool. What else have we got in here? The theme continues. We've got a Hogwarts suitcase. Um, hold on, let me make sure my daughter's okay. You right there, Zara? Yeah? All good? Cool, cool, cool. Um, just, just chill for a bit. Um, Hogwarts briefcase. Should we have a look at the Hogwarts briefcase? Why not? I, I want to look at these because I've been quite interested in getting these before, but I've not pulled the trigger before. Oh, polystyrene. Very well packaged. This is much chunky. Oh, wow. That is a chunky. You'd need a strong tree, to a strong branch uh, to, to dangle that from. That is a beautiful hanging decoration. Look at that, look at the detail. That is so cool. Ah. It's, it's gonna spin it around, there you go. Like that. That is really nice, can it focus? I don't know if it'll focus on that. It might not focus on it, I don't know. But, oh, there you go, it's focused. That's really nice, isn't it? So that is awesome. Um, hey Fletch one, thanks for popping in. Um, Ali says, has the shop got nuts ready uh, um, nuts ready for Christmas? -y? You know what, Ali, not at the moment. We have seen a pickup in the last week, um, but we are going to be expecting a bit of a bump because we've got a couple of events happening in Garstang, which are always nice. So there's the Victorian Festival. Um, the lights will be switched on as well by uh, at the end of this month so they're going to do like a little event for that too so there is a few events which will definitely bring a bit of um, more footfall to the town um, but you know we're starting we have started to see some people buy some gifts now though yes gift buying has definitely commenced um, even this morning we've already had some people buying some gifts so there's been an improvement so that's really cool um, another one of those briefcase majiggies I also have a golden snitch hanging decoration so I'm not going to open that because I can't be bothered if I'm honest but um that but from what I've seen the quality of these is awesome oh that is really cute a, um, a ravenclaw stocking hanging decoration so yeah we're getting definitely getting the harry potter merch um for for christmas and what else have we got in here oh there is another Funko Pop Namora again for Wakanda forever Namora Funko Pop so that can go back here as well but this is only box too I need to hurry this up a bit when's the light switch on Z I think it's at the end of the month um if you want to come down to Garstang though you're better off coming down to the Victorian festival that will be it will be amazing it will be heaving but it will be really worth coming down for that um Oh, and I found another platform nine and three quarters decoration. And what else have we got here? Oh, another large one. God, this is 
Let's see if I can. Oh, this is nice. Oh, look at this, guys. Uncharted Nathan Drake, based off of Tom Holland, I believe. I believe that is meant to be Tom Holland. I don't think that is bad at all. Comes with a bunch of accessories. Uncharted deluxe action figure. So well worth it for someone that's a fan of either Tom Holland, the movie or the video game really. So um, pretty cool figure. I like figures like that, which have got a number of attractions going for them. Um, Oh, I can finally get to the other twin. This is Am with Helmet. So this is from the Star Wars Visions. I showed you earlier that we had um, Kare. So now I have Kare and Am. So these are cool. I think I'll be taking those out of the box, putting them on display and selling them like that. That looks, those are pretty cool. I should have gotten more of those. And um, what else have we got in here? Oh, it keeps going. It keeps going. This is the box that keeps on giving. Another golden snitch hanging decoration. Very nice. There's another Funko Poop. This is another Shuri, but in a different outfit. I think that's the problem with Funko Pops, isn't it? It's just like the, the amount of stuff that they just keep just churning out. What else have we got in here? Struggling. Okay, and we have gotten an amazingly cool, oh my god, right, that is mega cool, it is, that is Robin, that is a page punch of Robin, look at that, it's got Mohican, he looks lethal, that is an amazingly cool figure, I, I don't know if I can get across how cool that is, Robin looking serious there. He's ready for business. And he comes again with his cool comic. That is so cool. It's, in a, it's weird though, because it's, it is a page puncher from what I can tell. Yeah, it's a page puncher, but it's in a blister pack as opposed to the others, which are in like the cardboard packs. And okay, what have we got here? Okay, we have got another Uncharted Tom Holland. Actually, I'll put him over there with the others. I am really running out of space. And the final thing in this box, in this box, um, Fletch One says, have you got a celebrity switching lights on? We got Peter Audrey's son, Accrington, Obama. Um, the light switch on in Garstang is normally done by the town, like, mayor. So just the, the mayor lady with her garms, she would just come along and switch it on. From what I've heard, the switch on isn't, like, all that, you know? I don't know. Oh, and we've got another big box. This is a Marvel Gallery figure based on the Shazam movie. Very good likeness, very good likeness. And again, it's a diorama piece, quite large. That is awesome. And then I'm gonna get rid of this box, hopefully without making a huge mess, but I don't know. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That will do. Um, I can get rid of this one as well. And we can get onto another box. Do, 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 do. Um, that's hilarious, Fletch. At least you get a celebrity. We do it ourselves. <laughs> All right. What have we got in here? Hopefully I'll get through these boxes a bit quicker. Okay, very well packaged. Like, what is... Card on card with... Okay. And we have gotten another... There's just one item in this box, which is fine. But, oh God, it's very well packed. the one item in that box and it is the Captain Marvel gallery figure so again it's kind of you know good for the um, 
the the moment with the new Marvels movie coming out, and it's just a nice figure. So super that can go there and that's another box done hopefully we'll get through these last few boxes quickly oh gosh all right what have we got in this one here i believe this is just a case of the same item so this should be easy i think just to show you Yeah, it's a case of the same item, so nice and easy to get through this. But these look pretty awesome. This is another page puncher figure from McFarlane. But this is one of their mega figs. Oh. Now, um, Secret Carpet was talking about, um, you know, like wanting to keep things. And um, I want to keep that. That is the kind of action figure that I absolutely love. Huge. He's like a, he's about what, 10 to 10 inches at least tall, articulated, and he's a giant gorilla, vicious looking, with armor. And he comes with his comic, Gorilla Grood. Wow. That is so friggin' awesome. That's a, that's a piece that is. Absolutely love that. Yeah, I love that. Just look at the detail on him. Oh, just, just, oh my goodness. See, that is what I want, that. I've got a case here, so I might keep one for myself. Uh, but I don't know. Let's move it along. Uh, <laughs> just love that. That was so awesome. That has to be my favorite so far, I think. Um, Grood says, George, at Secret Cop says, wow, 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 it is awesome, isn't it? Right, we're on to the last couple of items I think what is in here oh, there's still another box bloody hell we've actually got another delivery coming as well but I don't know when that's due but that's a, a bit of a smaller one but still okay okay oh another mega fig okay there's atom smasher from the Black Adam movie, I guess, but that is another large figure. He's cool, he's cool, but I'm not, I mean, he, the size of him does make him appealing, because he's, he's like a huge articulated figure, but that's a cool figure that I'll be able to sell, but I'm, I'm okay with that one. Um, is that the other one that's gonna be the same? I'm guessing that one's gonna be the same, Atom Smasher, and there's one other one to come out of here. What have we got in here? It's going to be another... We need to package these things up. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. This is Sabak. Look at... look. Just get a look at Sabak. Let's see if it... Oh, there you go. You can see him now, can't you? That is a huge... And again amazing like even if you're not into the movie if you're if you like action figures this is the kind of figure that i would just love to have on display like i don't really care i didn't even see the black adam movie i wasn't that bothered about it i will watch it at some point but that is just insanely cool as a figure on its own so really happy with that i'm gonna try not to just keep all of those <laughs> that is so nice Okay, let's uh, let's get that one back in. Oh, okay. Now let's see. I think we're onto the final box. Got to go. No worries. Thanks for popping in, George. Appreciate it. We're onto the final box, and then I will be going as well. But let me just reach over and do not open. Okay. Do not open sold assortment only. Oh, wow. Some dogs are going crazy outside. And we have gotten... Wow. We have gotten... Um, 
some Kingdom Hearts figures, Disney Kingdom Hearts figures, and these look really nice too. So we have gotten Hercules from Diamond Slayer. They go really nice. Comes with a bunch of extra little geezers next to him. I don't know anything. Um, am I the only person who doesn't have a clue what any of these characters are? No, Kathy. I don't know some of them myself. I just go on how cool they look. <laughs> but yeah, there's Hercules. You remember Hercules from Disney? Kingdom Hearts, very nice figure. So that's a nice one. Who else have we got in here? We have also gotten um, Toy Story Sora. So if you play Kingdom Hearts, I'm guessing that's the character. And again, comes in a nice display box. That's really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. And then we have got Guardian Form Sora. So again, the same character as before, but different look. Um, what else have we got in here? We've got another Toy Story, like, Sora figure with Air Soldier. So, it's just another one of those. And we have gotten another Hercules. And then, finally, what's this one here? Is that another Sora? It looks like it's going to be another Sora figure. So, again, if you're into Kingdom Hearts, I guess, Guardian form Sora. So, you know, can't grumble if, you've got, if, if that's uh, your bag, as it were. Kingdom Hearts. Wow, now I've made a complete mess and I don't have a lot of space to move. Um, I will be calling it there. Um, <laughs> thank you everybody that joined the live stream, really do appreciate it. Um, I'll be hoping to put out some more videos or live streams or content at some point. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Some of this stuff is um, now I've got to work on getting this stuff onto the website and listed and displayed in the shop. Um, and um, that's the end of the stream. Thank you.